Right guys, welcome back to Garner Sewing Room. I'm just checking my um, link really fast so that way I can see. Okay, I just wanna make sure you guys can see me. So um, I don't have my um, phone next to me so I can answer any questions if you have any. So oh yeah, that's a little bit too high because I am a little short thing. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so um, today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the settings on your industrial sewing machine to convert it from bag making to making garments or using a lighter weight um, thread. I mean, um, lighter thread obviously, but a lighter fabric. So. When you're bag making, especially on an industrial sewing machine, usually it's a vinyl, it's a cork, um, it's a leather or something like that, um, or it's a woven fabric that has interfacing in it. So you have to have settings that to do that. You have to change your settings. So today I'm gonna to show you how to change your settings to go the opposite direction. So if you already set it for bag making and you want to do something like make dresses or make some pillowcases or quilting or something like that, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Um, please note that I, this is my machine. I have used my machine for over three years now, so I've kind of learned its quirks and things like that. Um, I'm very blessed to have um, a mechanic that comes out and services my machine every six months. He comes out here just like a good checkup, you know, like a wellness checkup on her and make sure everything's running good. Um, and while he does that, he also kind of gives me information and I want to pass that on to you guys so you guys can know what I know as well. So I'm going to go ahead and switch around the camera so that you guys can see the actual view that I see when I'm sewing. So then that way you can see what I do. Okay. my desk <laughs> there we go and as you can I was bag making earlier today so I have my lighter and stuff like that okay so this is uh, I'm gonna take the light and I'm gonna move it away just for a second um, so when you have your sewing machine set up Sorry guys, I'm just wanting to make sure that I have it so I can see any comments that come through. Hello. Um, so what we're going to do is I've already changed my thread already to a all-purpose polyester thread. It's a Guterman. Uh, I've already done that. But the next thing we have to do is we need to change our needle. Because the needle I'm using is a size 18 needle if I'm not mistaken um, yeah this is an 18 so this is an 18 needle and I'm going to show you what a, a 12 looks like so you really want a 12 or an 11 when you're doing uh, when you're doing lighter lighter fabric right so I'm not sure if you guys can see see that but this is the 18 and this is the 12 it, there is a gauge difference the higher the number the thicker the needle the lower the number the thinner the needle so with industrial sewing machines the it has like a little groove along and it's like a thread guide it has a groove along the length of the needle to the eye of the needle that needs to be to the left so the way my um, sewing machine guy taught me He's like ledge to the left or lip to the ledge left. So I always make sure it's to the left when I'm doing it. And then you just tighten it. Make sure everything's good there. So the actual threading of this machine here is exactly the same no matter what. Um, sorry, I can't talk and do that at the same time, obviously. The, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one away because I've actually used it several times and it's already starting to get dull, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that away. So, the actual how you thread it is the same no matter what kind of thread you're using. The difference is the tension. 
So unlike the tension on a regular domestic sewing machine, this doesn't have any numbers, doesn't have any dials. Uh, so it's not like you can go, okay, move it from three to five or six or something like that. So this is what um, my <laughs> machine guy pretty much says. Um, Tony says, who knows? It's, it's a crank into who knows kind of thing. So you kind of have to get a feel for it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I've already put my bobbin in. I've already filled my bobbin. So I'm going to draw up my bobbin. That's something else that's different with um, the sewing machine industrial than, it, uh, than a domestic machine. A lot of domestic machines, you don't have to drop the bobbin anymore unless you have um, one of the entry level singer models they they don't have that and the old-fashioned singers the classic ones they don't have the vintage ones they don't have that either but most of the other sewing machines now have it's it already it pretty much it brings up the bobbin automatically okay so after we've done that i know that i have to lighten my tension so it's just like like when you do, um, when you're when you're unscrewing or rescrewing something in, it's the same way, righty tidy, lefty loosey. So I know I'm going to have to crank this about three times around to lighten it up. I'm going to put my foot down, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull on my top thread right here. That's pretty good. You want resistance when it's closed but when you when you have it open you have your foot up you don't want as much resistance that's a lot of resistance for me i can feel right in here so i'm going to go ahead and loosen that up a little bit more okay so that might be a little too much because you can see how i'm pulling on it it's just automatically pulling on it so it's like if it doesn't have any tension whatsoever so i'm going to tighten it up just a little a little bit more oh i like that so i can barely pull on it but i don't feel like my my thread is going to pop so Another thing you can do after you've done that, so righty tidy lefty loosey. So you do the opposite if you were cha changing it from a regular, um, regular tension for a light uh, woven fabric versus a thicker fabric. I mean, if you want, if it's a thicker fabric, you want to make it a little tighter. If it's if it's a thinner fabric, you want to make it looser. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do a little quick little test right here on my fabric just so that I could see if I have any looping at the bottom or anything like that. I don't take the very first ones as, oh, that's how it exactly is. I have to run it through a little bit more. So don't do a couple stitches and then stop and go, oh, it's not working right. So right here, you can tell right here, you got these little, what you call eyelets right there you got these little eyelets going on it's not bad but it's not good either what that means is that the bobbin is pulling the top thread through too much that means it doesn't have enough tension so I'm just gonna crank it just about half of a turn and try it again I'm actually setting up for a video that I'm gonna do for making my niece's um, birthday party dress so that's why I went ahead and did pink bobbin and pink top thread. <laughs> or else, normally when you do this, if you have a, a different color bobbin thread and a different color top thread, it makes it easier. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. All right, so now these are the stitches that I just did. There's no eyelets. I can feel it. It's nice and smooth. So now this has been, um, all my settings have been switched over for it to be um, for regular sewing. So if you... If you have an industrial sewing machine, it has a walking foot, meaning that this kind of crawls when you're sewing. You're not going to be able to do this, unfortunately. The, the, the walking feet are just so rough on fabric that if it doesn't have any kind of interfacing, it just kind of tears it up. The feed dogs are kind of tough on it too. So you're not going to be able to do this. But if you have this regular um, industrial sewing machine without a walking foot, so it's just a single needle walk a single needle um, industrial sewing machine that you, you could go ahead and do this i make bags on this i make quilts on this i make dresses on this i make everything that i do practically on this machine um i also use my machines in the back when i'm teaching i just like this machine because it goes faster <laughs> um you know i can get speeding tickets that's all i gotta say 
All right, so um, this is the brand of Needle Organ Needles is what I use for my sewing machine. I'm gonna be leaving descriptions on where I get the stuff um, on the description box below. I like using a size 12. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. I can pretty much go any which way with it and I don't have to worry about it like breaking. So I like the size 12 for this sewing machine. Your domestics, maybe a 10 or 11 would probably be good too. So um, just kind of play around with it. That's the great thing about it. You can't necessarily break it. So work with it and see and play with it and kind of get a feel for it. It's just like driving a car for the first time. You have to get in there and really work it out and see what how it feels best for you, right? All right, guys. So that's how I set up my machine to... Um, to switch over from bag making over to garment sewing. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next. I'm gonna be doing a, just a video. I'm not doing a live, I'll be doing a video on that. And um, uh, have a wonderful, great evening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, add comments below. I really, really appreciate doing the video of me making my niece's um, outfit. I actually posted it earlier, but this is kind of like a sneak peek. This is the fabric. It's beautiful. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.